Hello, everyone. This is your Saturday evening KRQE.com webcast. Here's Ian Schwartz with a quick look at the forecast. Thanks, Tim. We had a very nice day out there. Pretty warm temperatures, especially in the southeast. 70 degrees in Roswell, 71 in Carlsbad. Those temperatures are going to fall anywhere from 5 to 10 degrees as cooler air makes its way into the region. A weak storm impacts the north and northeast tonight. We're talking 1 to 4 inches. The higher mounts would be at resort level, 9,000 feet and above. Could be some slick spots on the road, so please do be careful. It's out of our hair by tomorrow afternoon. We don't get any rain or snow in Albuquerque. We will get cooler air, though, so a high of 53 for Saturday, and we'll drop it down to 46. Seven for Sunday. The rest of the week is looking a OK. Thank you again. A shooting at a Bloomfield gas station left a 17 year old dead this morning and a 21 year old man in jail. It happened in the overnight hours on the 200 block of South Bloomfield Boulevard. When police arrived at the scene, they found the victim, 17 year old Stanley Smith Jr., who died at the San Juan Regional Medical Center. Nine hours later, police arrested the suspect, identified as 21 year old Samuel Sinig, at a separate location. They say they also found the alleged weapon, a 357 Smith & Wesson. Witnesses say the two got into a fight inside the gas station and then took the fight outside where the gunshots broke out. Police say the shooting appears to be gang-related. Santa Fe police say this is the man responsible for a number of armed robberies in downtown Santa Fe. Surveillance video and witness reports helped connect 39-year-old Lester Padilla to at least four armed robberies in the area. He is now facing charges of robbery and aggravated assault. Police say he is considered armed and dangerous. If you know where Padilla is, call Santa Fe Police or Crime Stoppers at the numbers on the screen. Big trouble for a Clovis police officer who is now under indictment for killing a woman in a fatal car crash. 23 year old Stephen Gallegos is now charged with homicide by vehicle and great bodily harm by vehicle for the November crash that killed 56 year old Mary Castillo and injured driver Edith Payton. A grand jury found yesterday that Officer Gallegos was driving recklessly at the time of the crash, driving 56 in a 35 mile an hour zone and running a stop sign before slamming into the women. Gallegos faces up to nine years in prison if convicted. Stay with KRQE for more news and weather updates. I'm Tim Maestas. Thanks for logging on.